Hello, I want to talk to you gentlemen for a little bit about financial stewardship and what your responsibility as a man of God is and what the Bible requires of you. I want to come from a text in 1 Timothy chapter 5, beginning in verse 8. And this is going to be the text we look at for a couple of these uh, lessons. Verse 8 says, But if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Notice that the New Testament is expecting a man of God to provide for his own household, to provide for his own, especially those in his own household. Now that may seem like a given or a gimme in this day and age, but you'd be surprised how many Christian men refuse to get a job, how many Christian men refuse to work, how many Christian men really want to take on the responsibility and the burden of their household. This Bible verse here tells us that if we don't provide for our own household, the Lord Jesus Christ declares we have denied the faith. Can you imagine the statement that says, by not providing you for your own household, you're a Christ denier. That's what it means to deny the faith, is to deny Jesus Christ. So if you're going to confess Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, you've got to make sure you're doing everything in your power to provide for your own household, your wife, your children. Uh, if for whatever reason your children don't live with you, you, you have an obligation to take care of those children as well. It says that not only have you denied the faith, but you're worse than an infidel. Infidel means unbeliever. You haven't just denied the faith, you're worse than a total pagan because even pagans provide for their kids. Even pagans know how to get a second job or a third job if necessary and provide for their own. This is an aspect of financial responsibility we might not understand. But if you can in your heart say, Lord, I am doing everything I can to provide for my household. Lord, you've got to provide the needs. You said according to Philippians chapter 4, you would supply my needs. Lord, I need a job. I need a second job. Lord, I need a pay increase. I'm doing everything I know. If you'll do that, the Lord Jesus Christ will come through for you so you can help fulfill this verse and not be faithless or worse than an infidel. Jesus Christ is commanding you, O man of God, to take care of your household. That might mean you have to diminish some of your own spending and some of your own toys and hobbies, but if you have dependents, they're looking to you and you owe it to them to do everything in your power to provide for them. Call you blessed, be a doer of God's word. See you next time.